Hey guys, cool line way back. I'm Rick. I'm Maggie. We're back with Haikyuu. Last time on Haikyuu. It begins the summer tournament. Yes. <sighs> I'm so nervous. We are in preliminaries. We cannot lose. Not even once. Yeah. Sing single elimination. But because they did so well last time, they get a bye. Yeah. So then we have to win two and not three. I think we saw their opponents last time. Two groups that we did not recognize. So... That means that... We haven't played against the uh, teams in our own prefecture very often, so... Yeah, but I think that means the rematches versus, like, Date Tech, for We'll example, have to wait. Are going to have to wait. We'll mm -hmm. see. But, Coach Yukai is coming. I Old hope. Coach Yukai. You can't just call him Coach Yukai. We have Coach Yukai. There's only one Coach Yukai until that U Coach Yukai dies. Oh, my gosh. The other one just coach. He doesn't get to be called Yukai yet. Oh gosh. He's doing a he's doing a good job. He's getting yeah, he's getting there. Like you can all, you can almost see his personality like prepping for being a crotchety old man. He's already halfway there. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited to see how this is gonna go. So let's find out right now. Yes! Well, it was nice seeing everything that we worked so hard for. So 70 losses just go into one win so perfectly. Yeah, it's great how the show can give stories and emotions to even the jobbers. Take note, WWE. <laughs> yeah, like they're watching. We don't take it. Oh, no. uh. Yeah, like we got introduced to this team. And they're gone. They... I had no chance of winning, but it was already swallowed up my emotions. Yeah, I saw. I can't believe it. I was like, oh, there's more, more tears. <laughs> That's just they what the show does best. They themed the whole team around chickening out. Like, you see that rooster comb on the old captain? It was like, it was all very, very obvious and kind of heavy handed, but it was also sweet. <laughs> I figured it'd be your favorite team. It kind of reminded me of the whole gang from Yu Hakusho. No, not really. <laughs> but, um, I did like the fact that he was, like, so adorably, like, hi, Uppy, like, I, like a, you know, youth pastor sort of way. <laughs> and then his team was, like, looked like they came straight out of juvie. <laughs> it was great. It's kind of like if you have, like, a, a group of, I don't know, scary dudes, like, like a group of, of uh, bikers, but they have like a puppy or yeah. something. And they're all just swimming by the Ooh. puppy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, so one down, one to go. And then they'll make their way to the tournament in October. They're going to be fighting another new team, I think, Nishida. Which has... Yeah. So we have the next tiny giant. They have an actual giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That guy could have gone to any school with that height. Unless he shot up in like the last six months. Yeah, I wonder, like is he just tall or is he tall and good? Cause I'm sure you could still do a fair amount at this level of play just being tall. Like, you know, you would have, it, in high school basketball, like you would just have tall kids on the team just to do like rebounds and stuff. Just, just to be tall. Basically. Just to be tall. Yeah. It's like, eh, you can skip practice. Just keep growing. Drink your milk. <laughs> so like the, that was something that was very viable at like the high school level, even. But I wonder if he also is good, or at least putting some effort into it. Then that could be very dangerous for our team. Well, I mean, we saw how useful Suki stayed, even when he, when wasn't, he wasn't giving it his all. Yeah, when he wasn't giving it his all. Mm -hmm. So, I think it'll depend on whether this guy's giving it his all, which is uh, really nice. <laughs> like, I, I much prefer to see effort pushing people going further than just height. Yeah. We didn't really see any of the new techniques other than Austin. And he's certain. nobody mentioned whether or not Shoyo could jump 16 inches. <sighs> he can probably jump that high. Well, but he's got to jump, like, an additional... Let's see, he's 6'7", and they've went against like six feet people before, but I don't know if 
that much taller. So he's got to get like an extra seven inches. But the dude's, I mean, even if his hands are like an extra big, because the giant hands looked like he was basically could like pick up the ball like I pick up this mouse. <laughs> <laughs> but even if his hands are like super, super big, I mean, he's only blocking like that much. Well, I think this will be a good opportunity for Hina to, to work on his like redirection of the ball for the quick attack. Yeah, and not to mention his own inferiority complex with being very, very short. I mean, knowing your strengths and weaknesses is a good thing, but not letting it wig you out and start talking about lanternfish or lantern sharks or blue lantern. Dang it! And he's still throwing up on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Which I thought he was over, but. Gosh. It's still there. Well, uh, at least he didn't do it in. Tanaka's lap? Yeah. Yeah, this time. It's fun to see Asahi also nervous. Because <laughs> he's like, he looks so much older than the rest of them. Well, he seems like he would fit on the uh, the Ogi Ninama team. Mm-hmm. With those guys, you know. Yeah. He looks a little sketchy. Yeah, he does, like, <laughs> definitely looks too old to be on a high school team. He's got that little scrubby beard. So patch. Well, I think we're going to win the next one, and we're going to get to the October tournament. And then it'll just be a question of how far we get to from there. Yeah. All right. <gasps> but do you think we'll, like, stutter a little bit in the next game? And Yukai will have to, you know, say something, and everybody will realize that, <gasps> the Father Crow is here! <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. And he'll, he'll say exactly what needed to be said. Also, I felt bad for Yachi, too. She just has to be up there. All by herself. She's so intimidated by tall people. Imagine if she was actually down on the cart. Well, but she's got to get practice now. Like, it's better that she's down there now while she has someone to sit next to rather than next year when she'll just be alone. <laughs> she won't be alone. She won't be alone, but... By, and that, by that time, she'll probably be used to it. She'll be like, big guys everywhere around me. Used to it. All right, I can't wait for the next one. Let's go! Yes! Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Haikyuu. We have to wait, but you don't. You can go to patreon.com slash blindwave and check out the next one right now. Full length too. Also, blindwave.net has merchandise like this shirt. Oh, uh, which is also notebooks and other designs too. So go check it out. Blindwave.net. Check out the shop. Thanks, guys. Bye.